Hi guys, so the economist George Caravan issued a warning about the road ahead for the cost of living crisis. He spoke in this clip about the governor of the UK central bank, the Bank of England, Andrew Bailey. Now Bailey's job is to ensure that inflation remains as close as possible to the target of just 2%. But while during the pandemic it was below that, it is now soaring towards 10%. Caravan suggests that the governor may engineer a recession in order to bring down the rate of inflation, but this carries huge risks. Now, my, my big worry is that the Bank of England is about to engineer a recession. And if you have a big enough recession, yes, you'll, you'll, you'll curb inflation. But you'll do so by creating the opposite problem of a rise in unemployment and a catastrophic fall in uh, living standards. Uh, and I think the worst possible thing we could do at the moment is to engineer a recession. It's just, I mean, the, the technocrats who run the Bank of England, I mean, Andrew Bailey, who's the governor of the Bank of England, he's sitting on a salary of £495,000 a year. He'd happily have a recession because it's not going to affect his job or his standard of living. It is insane to try and solve inflation by engineering a, a recession. Now, you may think it's, well, why would he do such a thing? Why would Andrew Bailey engineer a recession to deal with this cost of living crisis? Does he not understand? Well, it's not that he doesn't understand. It's that his goal is to maintain an inflationary rate of about 2%. And it's looking likely to hit 10% this year. Now, what tools does he have? Well, really he only has one tool and that's adjusting the inflation rate, the interest rate that the, uh, the, the Bank of England issues to banks or to financial institutions. If he increases the interest rate, it will mean that it will mean there will be less money in the economy because it will become more expensive to borrow money this will put off businesses from investing um, in infrastructure, investing in uh, buildings, investing in new equipment, money that they would normally borrow. If, if it becomes more expensive, they'll hold off on those investments. So the idea behind this is to cool an overheating economy. So the central bank looks at the economy, it's overheating, we increase interest rates. This makes it more expensive to borrow money and it cools the economy down. But the problem here at the moment is the inflation is not a result of an overheating economy. It's uh, other factors, things that are outside the control of the British government. For example, the cost of energy or Brexit or um, the, the result of the, the impact of the, the pandemic and coming out of that pandemic. So the the way the governor of the Bank of England is looking at this is, well, I have a target to reach and I'll use whatever tools I have in my dis at my disposal. He's not viewing it from a cost of living crisis. He's looking at it as, well, I have to reach this target. And I, as was pointed out in this clip, if he does do that, it's going to have a detrimental impact on ordinary people. If companies can't invest, they're going to maybe lay people off. It's, you know, prices are still going up. This interest rate rise is going to have very little impact on the actual uh, inflationary rate because it's not been driven by an overheating economy. So it will increase. It will take more money out of the economy. Businesses will suffer. Businesses will lay people off. And then you're going to have all the problems related to that more people on universal credit, more people on welfare, and less people working, fewer people working. And this is one of the results of um, the particular situation we're in at the moment. So as um, George said here, it was correct. It would be insane to increase the interest rate now. It would be, it's not the, the tool you should be using to fight inflation. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.